everyone welcome back to my channel here we are again on a Tuesday and I'm about to do some crafting today we're going to just change it up a little bit we're not going to be working on a wreath I have a couple of little do I do it yourself projects DIY projects that are very simple and anybody can do it and they're not my original concept I've seen them someplace the first one is a St. Patrick's Day uh, project and I saw that on a website called Home Talk and if I can find it, it again and uh, I will give credit to the person who put that on Home Talk it is another crafter out there and I want to make sure that I give her the credit she deserves and the second one is something I believe I saw on Pinterest and I can't even remember it was a while ago if I did and so I can't really tell you where that one might have come from. They're both very simple. Both can be done in 10 minutes time or less and are kind of fun to play with. So I'm going to bring you down to the desk and we're going to start off with a St. Patrick's Day project. Be right back. Okay, here we are down at the desk and the first project is going to be our St. Patrick's Day project. And this is a little hat that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And let me just take off the price tag. And another thing you'll need is a jar. This happens to be one that I very often use on my th three-tiered tray. That's why it's chalk painted. And I want to be a jar that will fit underneath this hat. Okay? And um, this is a standard mason jar. <laughs> so I'm going to start by tipping the jar upside down and tracing the circle on the top of the hat. <laughs> and these hats aren't very sturdy, so if you push down on it, you're going to push, make a dent in the hat. Okay, I have, the I have this traced out. And now what I'm going to do is cut out that circle. And this is going to make like a cute little centerpiece for your table if you're having maybe company in for St. Patrick's Day. All right. So now I'm going to turn this up and I'm going to put this down over that jar. And actually, I'm going to just push it down a little bit so that it fits tight. See? It's not going anywhere. Okay. Now, you can fill this with water and put some fresh flowers in it. I'm going to use some of these Dollar Tree green and white St. Patrick's Day flowers. And one of these has some shamrocks on it. A couple of them do. I have some that were already cut. Let's see if I can get this shamrock up here. Here. 
Now we'll leave these a little longer. But I think it's a little bit too long. Let's see if we can shorten it a little bit. will take some doing to get through this. They have these little grooves which is supposed to be an easy place to cut. I've not found it such. such. Here we go. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I'm just kind of spread these out and cover them up. Perfect to sit in the middle of the table. Now that didn't take much time, effort, or money. I think I probably got three of these Dollar Tree uh, floral bushes and the hat. That's four dollars and the jar I had. So there you go. I'm going to set that one aside. And let me just get this out of the way. And we'll be back with Easter. Be right back. Alrighty, here we are back again. And this time I have a Dollar Tree little wooden, I guess they're their little grapevine wreaths. And I have some Dollar Tree ribbon. And waiting for my glue gun. Should be just about ready. And I'm going to start. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting a hanger on it. And I have this covered wire here. And I'm just going to make a little bit of a loop. And this, this is kind of a stiff wire, so just go around a couple of times. And that's all you need. And I'm only making a small one. I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm just going to wrap it around the wreath form. And this Dollar Tree ribbon, of course, is not that heavy, so that heat will come right through it. And I don't care about it being totally wrapped. In other words, it doesn't make any difference if some of this wreath form itself shows.
and you can wrap this with ribbon or you can use um, like a, a garland And stick, hold it in there. Now you don't have to worry about the top. I'm going to put a little bow up there. And now we're going to start with some Easter eggs. And these are the, oh, I'd say the size of a regular egg. And we're just going to put some going around. And I'm going to put one here on the side and that ribbon is not sticking And I got that on me. Shame on me. So this one I'm going to put a little bit this way. This one I'm going to put a little bit this way. this one in the middle and the longest thing of this is holding these eggs <laughs> to make sure they're dry. So I'm going to have to hold these a while as I go around so I won't make you watch me hold all the eggs and I'll be back when I get around to the end of it. Okay, I got around and now what I'm doing is I have the little eggs and I'm basically going to fill in the holes between the big ones. And this is the big eggs here. 
10 in a package. I used 9. And these are the little ones here. And I have, I'm working on what I had was a partial package. So I have another one to use. But again, we have to hold these. I am putting a little bit between the little egg and the big egg. So that kind of holds it quicker than just holding it on the ribbon. Now the little ones have strings in them. They're made to like maybe hang on a tree. And I'm just um, pulling the strings out. They pull out pretty easily. Whoop, that one fell off. They hold very well once that glue has had a chance to harden but until it does you gotta hold them you see it has the little purple strings here and they just pull right out. And I guess I'm going to put another one right here. All right, let me keep going around with these little ones, and I'll be back in just a minute. Well, here you go. Now, that one took a little more than 10 minutes, only because you had to keep holding the glue until it dried on these eggs. Isn't that cute? I love it. And that's the last project I have for my baker's rack, and I'll put that up there, and we'll show you what it looks like. So there you have Easter and St. Patrick's Day. And I think I have glue on my mat. There we go. Easter and St. Patrick's Day. All right, I'll put them up on the table and show you what they look like. Be right back. There you go. There it is in the middle of the table. And I did add a little table scatter around the base of it. But I think it's a really cute centerpiece for St. Patrick's Day. That was a hat, a jar, and some flowers. Now let's move over here. And we'll move to Easter. Now I am going to hang this probably somewhere on this baker's rack. But for the moment, you can see, it's really cute. It matches the tree we made last year. So there you go. There's a couple of little DIY projects 
have fun, get out your glue sticks, and if you're like me, get glue all over yourself. But have fun with some Dollar Tree items. That was a Dollar Tree wreath for one. Uh, one bag of big eggs is two. Oh, I say two bags of little eggs is four. And there's your wreath. And the bow, of course, I had some ribbon already. Okay, be back in just a second with some parting remarks. Hold on. So there you go. I thought those were cute little projects. I enjoyed them. Uh, I think it's fun to do something different than making wreaths all the time. I mean, if you're a crafter, you like to play in crafting things. You don't like to just do one thing. So that was kind of fun, change of pace. And I don't know what we'll do on Friday, but we'll find something. And I hope to see you then. So for today, I hope everybody stays warm, stays safe. Thanks so much. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and the bell. And share this video and give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. So until Friday, I hope you all stay safe, stay warm, and everybody play nice now. Bye-bye.